it was incredible. Like I wanted to cry. I kind of want to cry now, just thinking about it. I can't even put into words so much about like intimacy and exposing like your experiences of holding hands with people and what that brings to it. You might look at each other and think, you look really different to me. And then once you walk together, you are suddenly one. Like you are actually part of the same thing suddenly. And you're not just two people, you're in it together somehow, which then makes you see the world from a different perspective. Walking Holding is uh, a performance for one audience member at a time and that audience member um, goes on a walk through whatever town it's in and on that walk they hold hands with first myself and then um, a range of local participants and there's normally about six people and the idea is that the people are different ages and races and genders, different, different types of people. That's it very, very simply, and in lots of ways it is a very simple performance. I look at it as being three bits of material, um, the people that are in it, the act of holding hands, and the route through the city. But I think that those very simple things can actually bring up a whole kind of realm of complex um, issues and ideas for different people. I thought it'd be interesting to walk holding hands with just a range of people. I found it fascinating on one hand how I felt I was being perceived differently and how it kind of changed my identity just by holding hands with this person and also sharing that intimate connection with these people I found to be, it made me realise how rare that is to just kind of um, have that touch with someone that isn't like your lover or a family member and to ex hear their experiences of being in the city and of being public and I loved the experience of it and I thought could I make this experience into a performance and and so that's how I created Walking Holding for the first time. It's a piece that works on two levels it's partly about how you're being viewed in public and it's also about that intimate um, connection with the person that you're walking with, with a stranger and, and everything that that can bring up. I had a lot of trepidation because I just was really worried how people would react. And then I think because we did get verbal reactions and pointing and staring, actually I'm over that and I thought it might make me really angry and it, I just found it kind of extraordinary and sad and funny and a mixture of things. Walking around with somebody hand in hand is quite intimate in that very short space of time and I quite enjoyed that because normally I don't necessarily enjoy walking around hand in hand. I thought well if people do react badly or negatively not badly but then this is their life and I'm doing it for like five minutes. It's been interesting to talk about how the public eye automatically views hand holding as something romantic or sexual when really it isn't it's just about sharing a moment of intimacy with another human being in your own community. I'm interested in placing people into situations where they have to make a choice or think about something or experience something. So I guess being an active participator in the live event rather than sitting and watching the live event. And that does go into how I think about how I want to be in the world and how I'd like people to be, which is actively, yeah, taking part and thinking about what they believe and who they are and, and what they can do.